Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 58. The Bible says, cry aloud and spare not. He said, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Show my people their sins and the house of Yaqub their transgressions. These are not the days for religious games. We have cried aloud, but we have spared. We've spared the pastors. We've spared the praise and worship team. We've spared this and we've ministered to this. Like Saul, we have killed some and we've kept some. But Lord, we come tonight to spare no one. From the sanctuary to the gate. From the pulpit to the pew. Lord, we come in repentance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Revelations chapter 3. And I'm reading from the message translation. And I'm reading from verse 1. It says, write this to Sadis, to the angel of the church, the one holding the seven spirits of God. In one hand, a firm grip on the seven stars with the other speaks. I see through your work. The King James says, I know thy works. Praise and worship leader. Please, folks, I came all the way from Katy. I didn't come here to play religious games. It says, cry aloud and spare not. Praise and worship leader, he says he knows your works. Falu holding the microphone, he says he knows your work. Ricky Bradshaw, you that just speak, he said he knows your works. Pastors, ministry leaders, he says, I know your work. I know what you're doing. I know what you've been up to. He says, I know your work. The message says, I see right through your work. You have a reputation for vigor and zest. The King James says, you have a name that you are alive. The message says, you have a reputation. What is your reputation in this church, in this city? How are you known? You are known as a man of God. You are known as a woman of God. You are known as a warrior. But Jesus said, but you are dead. You are stone dead. He says, up on your feet. Take a deep breath. Maybe there is life in you yet. But I wouldn't know it by looking at your busy work. Nothing of God's work has been completed. Then the next sentence says, your condition is desperate our condition is desperate there is pornography in the house there is adultery in the house there is fornication in the house there is lying in the house there is cheating in the house folks this is not about condemnation this is about conviction condemnation drives you away from God conviction drives you to him in helplessness saying God it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Help us, Lord. So just take a minute right now. And let's go into a time of personal repentance. He says, I know your works. Dude, I know your work. You have a reputation as a worshiper, but I know your work. You have a reputation as someone that is on fire, but I know your work. Let's go ahead and take a minute and just repent before him. Hallelujah.
that book of Ezekiel, when the angel of judgment in Ezekiel chapter 9 went through, through the congregation, the Bible says he began with the ancient man. Lord, there are ancient men in this place. People who have been in the ministry for a long time. People of experience, people of numbers, people of days. Lord, we come in repentance before you, God. You have a name. We come on behalf of our city. We have a name in this nation to be the city that has the largest number of mega churches in America. We have a name. We have a reputation. But Lord, you look at us and you say you're dead. Cleanse us, Lord. Wash us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. We're going to do something right now. We've gone through personal. I want you to find two other people very quickly. And while we're doing this, we're going to transition to the next segment. I want you to find two people very, very quickly. And I want you to join hands. You have prayed for yourself. Now let's repent on behalf of the church. Hallelujah. Is it racism? Is it pride? Is it arrogance? Is it disunity? Is it gossip? Let's go ahead and find two other people quickly. And just go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Take turns praying. Let one person pray and the other say amen. And because we don't have a lot of time, just, just mention that sin quickly and repent of it. Say, Lord, I repent of prejudice in the church. Lord, I repent of arrogance in the church. Just go ahead and do so right now. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God. He says your condition is desperate. Your condition is desperate. Your condition is desperate. Think of the gift you once had in your hands, the message you heard with your ears. Grasp it again and turn back to God. Remember the first works and repent. Remember the first works and repent. Yes, go ahead, church. Go ahead, church. Go ahead, church. Hallelujah. We cannot have the price, P-R-I-C-E, without paying the price, P-R-I-C-E. There is nothing like a costless revival. Nothing like that. We cannot have the P-R-I-C-E without the P-R-I-C-E. We cannot have the price without the price. Go ahead, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, thank you Lord, hallelujah.